So we've already talked about the fact that a function like 5 to the, to the x, um, that's a base being greater than 1. So that would be exponential growth, right? And we know that when the base is 1 fifth, that would be, so that's a b value between 0 and 1, that would be exponential decay, right? So we already know that. Um, but what specifically, how would these two, with, when this is 5 to the x and this is 1 fifth to the x, how would these two functions compare? So if we made a table of values, um, we're going to see pretty easily the pattern. So, so if, um, if I took 5 to the x, so 5 to the negative 2 is 1 over 5 squared, right? So we're using this inversion property of exponents we're going to be using. Uh, so this is 1 over 25. When x is negative 1, we get 1 over 5 to the first. Uh, 0, we're going to get 1. 5 to the 1 is 5, and 5 squared is 25. So what does this thing look like? Um, so it passes through 0, 1, and then it's 1, 5 to 25. So this is going to be like way up there. Um, and then 1 fifth, it's going to be pretty small down here. And then uh, 1 over 25. So it's, it's very steep exponential growth, but never actually hitting that, that um, x-axis. What does the function, so let's change colors a little bit here. Uh, what would the function y equals 1 fifth to the x look like? Here's really where we need the inversion property. So if I look at 1 fifth to the negative 2 power, so I can think of that as using the inversion property, that's 5 over 1 to the, to the positive second power, sorry. So I changed it. It's going to be a negative exponent, but now it's positive, right? So the rule I'm using is something like a over b to the negative m would be b over a to the positive m, right? That's that inversion property. So this is going to be 25. When x is negative 1, I'm going to get 5 by the same sort of um, logic. And so what happens is we actually just get all of the, what was a negative 2's value is now positive 2's value. What was negative 1's value is positive 1's value. Um, et cetera. So they're switching. So what's happening is visually, I'm going to graph these on the same set of axes, they're going to be mirror images of each other. I know that's not perfect. Um, so these are reflections of each other across the y-axis. And so why in general is that going to be true? Well, again, think of uh, one-fifth to the x. You can think of that as five over 1 to the negative x, right? That's again using this inversion property. So I have 5 to the negative x compared to 5 to the positive x. That is just replacing all of the x values with negative x. So that's why it's going to be reflection over the x-axis. Oh, sorry, y-axis. Um, now we have a little matching game here to try to figure out which graph goes with which. So I see two um, exponential growth functions, right? These are both exponential growth. And then these two are exponential decay. So how am I going to tell the difference between these? And notice that all of these have a y-intercept of 2, right? So all the graphs have a y-intercept of 2. So I can tell which ones. These two are growth. These two are decay. But how am I going to know which one is um, 3 to the x versus 5 to the x, for example? And so what we have to know is, of course, as we, we already saw this uh, just in the previous page, if your base is greater than 1, like in parts b and d, then the bigger the base, the faster the growth, right? You're multiplying by 5 repeatedly. That's going to grow much faster than just multiplying by 3 repeatedly. So um, 5 to the x is going to grow much faster, this is going to be in my d, than 3 to the x, right? This one's going up. They're both going up fast, but this one's going up even faster. Um, on the other end, for the decay, we've got 1 third to the x versus 1 fifth to the x. So when the base is between 0 and 1, then multiplying by 1 fifth, numbers closer to 0, that's going to make the size go down by 1 fifth. That's a much faster decay than just multiplying by 1 third. So this must be my 1 fifth to the x, 2 times 1 fifth to the x, and this is my 2 times 1 third to the x. So the little matching... Um, we can do just by understanding that base.